your boy Family Square on Fire and welcome back to Canon Exiles. Today I'm going to teach you the best way to get volatile glands currently in the game. Now there's a few methods we can go about this, there are a few creatures, but by far one of the best creatures I found and one of the easiest ones to obtain it off is actually the Red Imp, an explosive imp. And there are several places that these will always spawn, aka this being one of the places. However, with these guys you do have to be quick on killing them because if they explode you're not going to get their corpse. So, luckily though, you can pretty much kill them in a hit, so they will die pretty easily just like that. And then you can farm them in a number of ways with tools. I'll show you how much each yields of a different class and then you can decide which one you would like to farm with. But first I'm going to try out the star methyl pick on this one. So I'm going to grab this. This is on like times one normal kind of farming rate, so we got two out of that one with the pick. Now I'm going to try the cleaver on this one, if I can get it without getting the other one. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that gave us a lot more. There we go. That one gave us ten for a cleaver, so let me get that out now. Then we'll try the sickle. Oh, that got it in one. I'm actually going to try that again though, just in case I did damage that one, so let's have a look again. Oh no, it actually just gets rid of it in one go, so there we go, there's four out of that one with that. Then we're going to try a skinning knife on this one. Well, this is good stuff. We got 21 with a star metal skinning knife out of one of them, which is an incredible amount. And then let me try last but least the uh, pickaxe. Let me just get a little bit closer. That gave us four. So pretty much what I gather is the skinning knife is getting the best results. Cleaver is pretty good as well. So those two I would use for farming these. But as you can see, it gives a lot of glands. And it will give glands every time. So if we were to look on the map, if you want a map reference, there will always be one at the eastern barracks on the right side spawning. I'm going to show you a few more locations so you can get your farm on, and then I'm going to show you an alternative way that you can get these. So there is always one that spawns here, however the only problem with this one is that you need to get it before these guys get it. So if you can grab it before the exiles grab it, then there will always be one that spawns here and you can collect the bits and pieces off of him. So this is in this location by Exile Camp 19. you also notice near there as well, there's one that moves around and wanders along. He actually starts spawning on this location. So that's just a little bit further up from Exile Camp 19. You can also get one here that will just wander around. Another one can spawn just over from that, so that's just literally over. It will go for the turtles, but you can probably grab it before it does. And you can see that's very near Axel Camp 18, so close to the other one in this little area. You will often find a lot of explosive imps in the kind of backing of the newbie zone. So you can see there's one here. Anywhere where the normal imps are, you will usually find an exploding one. Another quite safe space you can pick one up is by these ghosts. There never really seems to be much up here, so he's quite easy to grab without much trouble from other NPCs. But you can see right here on this little plateau bit, you can also get an explosive imp. But that's just a few imp locations, and if you do check out usually the bottom section of this XL river area, you will usually be able to find quite a few of them and collect a, an amazing amount of volatile glands in the process. The other method of doing it is going around and killing salamanders instead, which can be found all over the jungle. But particularly for me, I always find there's a lot on this kind of bay beach area, just on the corner and around the little bit here. You can always find a lot of salamanders. So you can see there's already two here. And they, they're quite dangerous because they do spit at you, but you should be able to get rid of them quite fairly enough. So let me just get rid of this one. You can see it just has under 500 HP. And usually they should give you a little bit of volatile glands. And I'm going to show you with all the farming tools how much I'm going to get. However, they did update this recently, so it's not always guaranteed that you will get a volatile gland, which makes them not so good as they used to be if you're wondering why they're not yielding so much. Do you can see with the pickaxe it gave me absolutely nothing this time around, just a little bit of meat. So here we go, I've got a bunch of salamanders I've spawned in, so I'm going to try the pickaxe again, just in case it does give me something. 
That gave me flesh and bone, but nothing else. So I'm gonna go and try the cleaver on this one. We got a head, we got some claws and some meat. So that's a big no for the cleaver. Let me try the sickle. That just gave us feral flesh. I'll try this skinning knife now. That just gave us reptile hide and flesh. And then we're going to try the pickaxe. Nope, nothing from that, which is really weird. However, they do yield it. Bring in the hatchet. Try that. Ah, there we go. The hatchet is the one we need, apparently. So I got three out of that one. Let me try some other ones. Nope. You can see they give a very rare source of them, but they're not very common. But I did get three out with the hatchet, if that helps. So, you can get it out the salamanders, you might get luckier than me. However, they don't yield as much as the exploding imps. But that's just another method if you want to use it. Plus, there's a lot of these, so you might just get some really good sources. And you can see there, killing that one actually gave me five volatile glands for the hatchet. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely recommend the hatchet on these guys if you do go after them. And remember, the jungle's not the only place you can get some of these. In the desert zone, there is also some salamanders at the back of the green river. They hide within the tall grass. This location is here on the map, just on the bend of the river. They like to spawn on this little bend here. But yeah, as far as it goes, the explosive imp's definitely my favourite method of getting the explosive uh, volatile glands. Let me know what your favourite way is to get volatile glands and how you like to do it. But this is my method of getting it. It's a very simple method. They're very easy to kill and farm. So, thank you for watching. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!